it doesn't crumple in the sun I go stupid in the sun it's more reliable it's a better plastic because the plastic you normally see is just normal everyday plastic it's mostly petrol um, mixture of chemicals so yeah ski jet ski hire backyard bar it's pretty sweet eh Great adventures. They're um, tourist companies, tourist boats. They're so busy, they sit in the harbour, not even moving. They will be soon though. Once the Tara tourists come back, they'll be moving big time. They'll hardly be in the harbour. There's monstrosity. I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be. Big waste of copper by the looks of it. But if you're an artist, you might appreciate that. If you're an artsy sort of person. Just copper piping stuck together. And a good little restaurant there, sells some pretty cool food. We had Eggs Benedict there one day because MJ was going out to Green Island on the fair on the the boat over there see that big boat a green island ferry thing he was going out on that and it's got a scary face on the front hey bad fishy there used to be an army duck that ran around here that looked a bit like that I don't think it exists anymore I mind that music, that's um, restaurants playing that music, not me. And all the different things that, boats that, you know, different companies that own different warps. Oh, there's a fish, look. Fishy down there. Another one. One's with black stripes. I don't know what they are, but... more Arabah is over there behind those hills that's our um, Aboriginal reserve where only Aboriginals are supposed to go but white people go there too now and we've got these restaurants along here see how busy they are and just flat out busy, eh? That's the boat shed. Oh, they're all, they're, no, these two are the boat shed. The next one is a different name. Yakra restaurant when that was in um, it's Aplin Street it won Cairns best restaurant for years in a row Dundee's I thought they closed down they must have just moved to the waterfront that's the restaurant there I'm trying to avoid people as much as I can it's impossible in some places. Let's see what their prices are like.
Ricky, that song's old. That's Australian, so an American is about half price. About probably half that. Look at the menu, man. Insanely big. So, um, yeah. So, if you're American, coming over here is cheap as right now. Because one dollar American is, um, I think one dollar Australian is 70 cents American. 17, yeah, 70 cents American. So, that's sort of like, a dollar Australian's like two dollars and a bit, maybe, or almost two dollars American. So if you're going from Australia to America, it's a bit expensive. If you're going from America to Australia, it's cheap as. So that's what you got to do. Watch the exchange rates. Clean your holidays. Well try to plan your holidays within a good exchange rate and um, get benefits down there's the trawlers and beyond that is the actual port of Cairns where the big um, where the big dingo boats you know the cruisers and that come in or used to come in um, navy's past that so it's like Trawlers, trawlers, marine for the big um, cruise ships, and the navy, the military base. So, yeah. All right. So we head back this way now because there's really nothing more to see up there. Not much at all, really. Here at Motor that boat there motoring along alrighty why did you be on the phone waiting all day for the answer so yeah let's just enjoy the view for a bit Either a tyre or a dinghy or something out there. One of those big mountains. The main road used to go through those mountains, the road south. Now it goes around them. The boat's getting ready to go out to sea. Trying to find the channel probably. This pyramid mountain over there. See the one with the cloud on top of it and the brown like bit like a river. That's Pyramid Mountain. Because it looks like a pyramid. The pyramid estate out there too, it's Gordon Vale. Boats chugging along. The, the harbour and we'll walk down 
possibly go past the car and head down that way, I don't know. Most people don't do the other end, so, you know. Fish that just jumped in. 